There are four important parts of Perrin wetland areas like the Rio Slado habitat restoration area that we visited. They are water, vegetation, landform, and soil. In a healthy system, these four are in balance and support each other. We would like to talk about soil. Soil is very important for the health or repairing area. Water makes the soil next to the river different from drier soil found further away from the river. Repairing soils are constantly changing because the moving water brings new materials into the soil. Because of this, there can be a lot of differences in the soil in repairing soil areas. Soil acts like a sponge and holds water. That means it can hold water for plants after the rain stops. The soil can also put water back into the ground or aquifer. Some soil like clay holds water and don't let go f flow Soil easily. scientists look at how much water organic material, which means material that comes from life and oxygen in, is in the soil. Different plants need different kind of soil, depending on these things. The organic material soil comes from planets and animals decomposing. It becomes nutrients in the soil that feed soil the plants. Soil scientists test for how much nutrients are in the soil. The three chemical elements that scientists are looking for are measuring and are nitrogen, phosph phosphorus, and potassium. A dig down take soil samples and look for these nutrients that plants need to survive. These images show that what happened to plants that do not get enough of these important nutrition. Soil on steep rocky mountains is not as deep as soil near rivers. In some places, soil is only two or three inches deep. In others, it could be two or three feet deep. Minerals in, in soil give it its texture. Soil scientists may take a ball of soil, it's slightly wet, and rub it to feel texture is soft like silk or is it sandy or gritty. One thing really important that we learned this year is that the quality of life on earth is connected to the overall quality of the environment. When humans pollute the environment, the soil gets da damaged and plants and animals that depend on the soil suffer. The Rio Salado Habitat Restriction Project is an ex Excellent example of humans restoring the earth after they have damaged it. It used to be a dam with tons of tires and trash. Over the time, this pollution damaged the soil. This year, we were given the opportunity to visit the Rio Salado Habitat Restoration Area of Become Soil Scientist for one for day. We would like to share that we did some of our data with you. The question our group of soil scientists came up with was, are there more soil nutrients in the river or two meters back from the river? To conduct our experiment, we needed the following materials, soil kit, measuring tape, trouble, sieve, and pH paper. We took notes on the weather because that also affects the soil. It was Thursday, March 14, 2014. It was cloudy and windy. The temperature was 68 degrees. Our procedure was to collect soil next to the river. We sifted the soil to see what was in it. It was 65% of the dirt went into section 5 of the sifter. Next, we put some of the soil into a bottle and added distilled water. We shook the bottle and held it up to the sun. It turned. Green or blue, it was bad soil with low nutrients. We put a pH strip into the bottle and air dried it for a couple of minutes. We checked the pH scale. It was a level 8. That meant it was slightly alkaline. alkaline. Next, we used a tape measure and collect another sample two meters away from the river. We put another travel of soil into the sifter, taking for nutrients. The results were 25% nutrients with a level 10. The answer to our question was, there were more soil nutrients closer to our river than two meters back. 
We think that is true because the water is going through the soil bringing more nutrients. We found that if you find a lot of weak intolerant bugs, it is because it's healthy. If you don't find weak bugs, it is not healthy and it's low in nutrients. This year we were given the opportunity to visit the Just Allow Habitat Restoration area and become soil scientists for a day. We are glad we were able to share some of our data from that day. The Rosalot Habitat Restoration Area is in a process of being restored to its natural state. We appreciate learning about this unique habitat right in the middle of our city. Thank you Arizona Project WET and the University of Arizona for letting us learn how important it is for us to take care of our environment and especially our soil. Thank, Thank you. you.